What's going on YouTube and what up to the Dragon Squad? I'm Ember the Blaze. I'm Glacier the Iceborne. And we're Reaction Dragons. If you like the vibe, like and subscribe. It doesn't cost a dime and helps go full time. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Thanks so much for the support, guys, and what's on the menu for today, Glacier. I'm looking forward to this. We're back at you with Avatar The Last Airbender, Book 3, Episode 5, The Beach. The Beach. And a uh, great movie starring Leonardo DiCaprio, right? Yep, I think that's what it is <laughs> taking place. So I wonder if that makes sense because Momo was in the background when Leonardo was in one of those scenes. Yeah, he was in the weed field when he's getting high as fuck all that weed, <laughs> weed to grow. But no, I mean, obviously with this one, my main questions are, obviously I want to see the new improved Sokka 2.0 with this badass asteroid sword. So safe. Like yeah. All black uh, yeah. metal sword. I want to see what kind of shit that can cut through. I also want to see Iroh 2.0 because I'm over is looking jacked like Zeus. So yep. I want to see his big escape. And then we still have Third Eye Blind on the loose. So I feel like at some point he's going to run into the end gang. So I want to see, I mean, he's not going to survive. He's probably going to get his ass whooped, but I just want to see how strong he is and if he can even stand a little bit of smoke. Like, does he bend? Like, is he a firebender too? Or That's true. We don't know. We don't know yet, right? Because if he's a big, muscly firebender asshole, then it might be a problem, but probably not a big one. Other than that, I'm kind of ready to just get right into this and see what's going to, uh, see what's going to happen. Good shit, right? Yep, I'm ready. All right, guys, and as usual, let's take a couple seconds, hit the like button down below. The impressions do lead to more views. And as usual, you can catch the full end. Watch along to the next episode on our Patreon. Shout out to our existing patrons. We really appreciate you guys. And shout out to our editor, Zach. And with that being said, let's fucking go. I'm so hell? excited Shit. to spend the weekend on Ember Island. What? Ember Island, let's go. How about Glacier Island? Sorry, it's not clean enough. So dad wants to meet with his advisors alone, without anyone else around. Don't I mean. take it personally. Yeah, Lazula's here, so don't, yeah, I'm gonna take him personally. Stop mentioning him, Brian. Stop giving him plugs. This is Grandma. Oh, they are Grandma. They knew it. Welcome to Ember Island, kids. Stop saying his name. God, that's probably how the Shining Twins look today. Who are these two beautiful women? Are they twerking? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Lou and me. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I felt he's going to be there. I felt he's going. Oh shit. Damn, that made me sweat, bastards. Time to hit the beach. Oh my god, I thought they were gonna... <laughs> <coughs> Oh shit, I thought it was gonna go real dark. <coughs> Woo! Let me... Oh shit. Well, let me, let Damn me, it, just let me bring myself. Me like... They're making me fucking sweat. I was about to say, fuck him, bro. <laughs> <laughs> fuck him, bro. bro. You don't want them doing your plug. Let's go again. Oh, that would be interesting because they're on. Oh no, but that doesn't matter. That's the, worst. That's the least concern. Fire Scouts are song. Yeah, but also right. that. And they got a, a bird with them, or a hawk, whatever it is. Yeah, hawk. Oh no, they're gonna get that to Ozai or Zula or somebody bad. Oh uh, yeah, obviously. This is so exciting. <laughs> what does that mean for Zuko? Avatar's alive. This is for you. Why would I want that? <laughs> I saw it and I thought it was pretty. Don't girls like stuff like this? Uh, maybe Simple stupid man. girls. Forget it! Ooh! <laughs> Forget it! <laughs> oh, Damn. Damn. Oh, no. Hey, beach bums. We're like, playing yeah, next. Maybe they'll each other Kylie, out. get over here now! <laughs> Look at that. She has a whole tribe. Well, anyways, bye, boys. Keep serving the ball to her left, and we'll destroy her and the rest of her team. Dismissed. This is an interesting episode. Like, seeing, like, Azula play volleyball. Like, I mean, like, just kind of being a kid, in a way. Yeah, or it's teenager. gonna be, like, some OP shit. Look. <laughs> Jeez. Who's God damn. Dang, and set the net on fire? Fucking mushroom cloud? Don't you know who we are? We're Chan and Ranjan. Yeah. <laughs> Chan yeah. and Ranjan. Oh. Some of the most important teenagers in the Fire Nation are gonna be at this party, so try and act normal. We'll do our best. Oh, they're gonna sabotage some shit. They don't ever make me like I'm just a regular Peabody. Yeah, that's Azula, because Azula's uh, ego is gonna be the best of her. Yeah, taking your shit. Oh. Damn, we belong to it. Oh. Is it third eye blind? Yes, it oh, is. Oh, shit. I remember the metal arm. We are the perfect party guests. We arrive right on time because we are very punctual. She's, she's trying been... to sabotage it. I think she just sucks at, like... Yeah, she's not, she's not a people person. She's been under her dad's thumb her whole life. You could puncture the hull of an Empire-class Fire Nation battleship, leaving thousands to drown at sea. Zula, chill. She's so wooden. She has like zero social skills. <laughs> Is this episode gonna make me feel bad for Zula? He thinks he's so great. Well, what do you think of him? I don't have any opinion about him. I hardly know him. You like him, don't you? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Classic like teenager shit. Zula needs some social skills too. He's like, no, man. He's better than Zula. Yeah, it's at least better. He's like, no, man. 
jealous of my girl right now. But which one of us do you like? <laughs> I like, like. I don't know. I don't know. Jump over him. Or do that. <laughs> yeah, there you go. When all spells, just sleep with them. God. <laughs> Jealous of me? Oh, shit. <laughs> but you're the most beautiful, smartest, perfect girl in the world. Well, you're right about all those things. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey there, sweet sugar cakes. How are you liking this party? <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> Stop the cringe. Chan, I'm ready for a tour of the house. Oh, oh shit. shit. Well, she's a firebender. Yeah. <laughs> You're pretty. Together, you and I will be the strongest couple in the oh, entire no. world. Oh, well, you had him. We will dominate the earth. Oh, shit. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. Stop talking to my girlfriend. Relax. It's just a party. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean it. Damn, a little overjealous, Hugo. You're so impatient and hot headed and angry. Well, at least I feel something. As opposed to you, you have no passion for anything. You're just a also big true. blah. Oh, shit. Oh, that's that. Teenage wow. relationships. That can happen. That lasted all of what? Four episodes? Oh, is this is where it was at? Yeah, it was. I used to come here as a kid. This is why it bothers him. He might just not like Ember Island, which I get it. It's named Ember Island, but Glacier Island, you mean. Doing backflips right Get rid of the creepy twins, this place is amazing. No, I said get rid of Ember and call it Glacier. Uh, not listening? No. Yeah, I ignore dumb shit. <laughs> it's not, it's not, I don't know why they're trying to humanize Ozai. Fuck, I think it's about to go down. Call me Fizzle. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, oh shit, okay. This is where we're going? Come down to the beach with me. Come on, this place is depressing. You know, she's gonna be a good sister. Have that quick conversation. I mean, if you can talk your sister into the fact that your dad's crazy, then I'm, I'm okay with this. It'll be hard. Jump on Appa! I'll try to distract him! Let's go. Woo! Crazy. Damn, he's like on a shot where, he, where he's gonna be, not where he's at. Yep. Oh shit! He like redirected it. Oh air! Oh air! Yeah, oh yeah, shit! Protect from the blast, but it's gonna. I get the feeling he knows who we are. Yeah. He's not gonna keep attacking. Like, get away. Damn! Burning the picture. I, mean, I guess that's a start if you want to. I mean, not your mom though. But you're stuck in your little Ty Lee world where everything's great all the time. Zuko, leave her alone. Shit. I'm so pretty. Look at me. I can walk on my hands. Now you're being kind of a douche. You're being kind of a dick. Circus freak is a compliment. Yeah, I guess we're that proud. explains why you there need you. ten boyfriends too. God, you just called her a slut. I wish you would be high, strung, and crazy for once, instead of keeping all your feelings bottled up inside. She just called your aura dingy. Are you gonna take that? <laughs> I don't instigate. <laughs> yeah. You want me to express Good myself? Point. Leave me alone. Oh, shit. There you go. I'm glad we're getting this little oh, therapy session. I like when you're Don't yourself. touch me! <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Turned on. My father decided to teach me a permanent lesson on my face! Sorry, Zuko. You laughed, Azula. Yeah. Who are you angry at? Answer the question, Zuko. Shit, they're gonna pressure to him. Us. Come on, answer the question. Come on, answer it. I'm angry at myself! Damn. There it is. Get it out of your system, man. That's the first step towards growth. Because I'm not sure I know the difference between right and wrong anymore. Damn, Ooh. powerful scene. Oh, shit. My own mother. Oh, that's like I was important. a monster. Well, there you go. Crash the party. Yep. We've got some bad news, Chan. Party's over. Damn, <laughs> petty as fuck. Fuck this table. Gosh, I mean, it's like unnecessary. Wow. Sorry. At least we're doing it together. Like bonding, I suppose. That look expensive. <laughs> Finger boogers. Ah, uh, we're such a happy family. We have a picture. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Wow. Holy shit. All right, the beach. Glacier, what'd you think? Uh, one of my favorite episodes. Don't know. I don't really No, You wouldn't call it a filler because you got the third eye blind line. Third eye blind. Third eye. Yeah, blind guy chasing Aang. You got that story developing. 
but it was more of like I got to see like little pieces of Azula. Kind of actually did surprisingly. This show's great at it. Uh, made me feel a slight like bad. It's like a little bad for Azula because you can kind of see it's because she's just around her shitty father. You know, is the why is the way she is. Like she, you know what I mean? She doesn't get. Well, it seems like it's more so like. And then her mother wasn't as involved. Her mother, like kind of like how Zuko probably feels like Ozai gave favored. more. Yeah, favored Azula Zula. over him. So that's how he felt the way he felt. Yeah, and then that man with that. Yeah. Of that. And Azula kind of felt the same way. Like, oh, mom always liked you better, and she. Thought I was a monster. She's right, but it, you know, you know, it didn't hurt really. But I feel like she—that's just like a, her outer shell. I feel like it did hurt the fact that she was looked at as a monster. Maybe that kind of influenced the way she became. Like, okay, if the shoe fits, I'll wear it. Type shit. Yeah, because I mean, but it, it still makes me feel bad when I see her in social settings. You, yeah, you can tell that like every every character, especially like within the Ozai's Angels and especially Zuko, they all have like their own flaws. Like with Tylee, apparently her mom had a fucking litter had six of them. And they all looked the same, so she just felt like she was never really like an individual, which is why she kind of craves other people's attention. Tension. And then with May, she pretty much just handed everything on a silver plier. Probably didn't get her parents' love, which is why she's afraid to open up to people. Yeah, and, and then because she's not, she doesn't know exactly. And I feel like with Zuko, there's a breakthrough because he finally realized that he's angry all the time because he's mad at himself. So it's just he's just got to dig deeper. Why are you mad at yourself? Is maybe the way you treated your uncle, who honestly loved okay. you like a son? He's a real father to you, and you betrayed his ass. Maybe that's something it's, to do with it's, it. It's probably that like that you're fighting that thing in your whole life. Like you want your. You're, he wants his father's love so bad, and now he has it, but it's like that void wasn't filled. And exactly. Like, Damn, and that's what that's what bothers me. Like, why am I not happy? I ha it's like if someone was, you have that dream where you have like the white picket fence, the house, the kids, the family. Let's say you get that, but then you're truly, that wasn't truly your calling. You're just not happy. Yeah, because you just, you wanted that to fill a void, but you didn't get to the root problem what's causing the void to begin with. Yeah. So I feel like that's going to be a breakthrough to maybe him to like make amends and finally realize that he should choose Iroh over Ozai. But yeah. with that being said, I mean, honestly, I wasn't like, you know, I don't like rooting for Ozai's angels, but they're still very compelling characters. Yeah. So it's like, I can't help but root for them. And obviously they're chilling on Ember Island, the happiest place on earth. I could do without the old creepy twerking twins. And I almost threw up my mouth when I thought they were going to take their clothes off. Like that shit almost had me like this one time that I thought Toph was going to call Aang a pussy. <laughs> like that was the clothes I was like, oh my God, this is Nickelodeon? What the fuck? Bro, they, uh, um, no. And you like the fact that they say Ember. Like, you got turned on every time they mention Ember Island. Like, Ooh, I'm gonna tell your I got turned on more by Ember Island. I'm gonna tell your dragon girlfriend. Tell her you want to. I'm gonna take her out to Ember Island. Meanwhile, you can go to Glacier Island, where probably the twins prefer to go there where they're completely naked. Because I'm sure at Ember Island, they have a no clothes policy. <laughs> so after this episode, they're probably gonna go to Glacier Island with the sag are gonna be flopping all over the place, like flapjacks. Moving on. But yeah, with this, and then the crazy thing is we get, finally, we get to see how Third Eye Blind operates. He almost reminded me of, what's that guy's name from Dragon Ball Z? Tien? Uh, the one that has an actually, an, oh, no, the bald guy? Yeah, yeah, Tien. That's kind of who he reminded me of, but the crazy thing is he has, like, yeah, he has attack powers like Vision. He literally used that eye to fucking shoot. I don't know if that's, if he's considered a firebender or that's some crazy other skill. But if he's it's a firebender, he can channel that energy into like a single beam that goes off like a like a nuclear war. Yeah, I want to know. As it seems like, because he wasn't using any other like attacks, like like air, wind. You know, it seemed like it's like a just a different version of firebending. We could be wrong. I mean, someone might be able. To Maybe it's just like how like Toph can bend earth, but she can also bend metal. So it's like a higher tier of fire bending, like a higher level of it. Yeah, I mean, or like how Zula can you know shoot blue fire. It just it makes him more ominous because he literally has no dialogue. Yeah, he's just silent. But silent. I'm glad that he has his own hawk because the other fire. Uh, the Fire Nation soldiers that saw Aang were going to send that shit to Ozai probably, which would have been the jig is up for them yeah. thinking that uh, Zuko killed the Avatar. So he intercepted that, but it's probably for his own game. But at least yeah. we don't have to worry about that right now. I mean, I, kinda, I, mean, I, I don't want them to find out that... Z not because I don't want Zuko to get banished again. I just kind of want Zuko to make that decision on his own. I don't want him to be forced back against the wall where his dad like, oh, you didn't really kill the Avatar and blah 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 and then now and then all of a sudden Zuko realizes like I feel like I want Zuko to have more meaning than that like kind of like we saw glimpses of it now when he finally like you said he's taking that first step like I'm angry at myself but why yeah I think it's very symbolic how he burned that picture of his family maybe that's he's finally letting go of that shit that he's been chasing all these years because also they're probably there's tormenting him is what happened to his mom I mean it's not that he's burning his mom like I don't want to care about you but he's just trying to like I gotta let that go because I don't it's just gonna haunt me for the rest of my day if I keep wondering where my mom went. And that's what Iroh was kind of saying you gotta or let that shit whatever. go yeah let the past go and figure out your own path that's the whole thing that Iroh was trying to teach you and he was almost successful until Azula fucking got involved in that shit but I mean with this you know it's crazy you know I, I mean again I, I did feel like a lot of humanity within especially with Azula the fact that she was socially awkward and everything she said even though she's trying to be flirty and trying to be a normal kid everything came off ominous as fuck and it was kind of it was hilarious but I was like, yeah, you gotta work on your social skills. You're not perfect like you think you are. So maybe that was like, maybe she can like better herself, which I don't think it's gonna really make her less of a less of an adversary. But I don't know. I just I hope for the best with Azula. Even though I she's think Azula. Crazy I mean, it sucks. You can't even say guidance because she won't listen to Iroh. Because she probably feels like Iroh. I mean, it's not Iroh favorite Zuko. I mean, 
it's kind of like Azula alienated herself. I just feel bad. Cause it's almost like it's at the point where she's too far gone. Like where, like I feel like even if she realizes she has too, flaws, she's not gonna change herself. Like the only way she would change, I think the only way she changes is the head of the snake changes. You would have to have Ozai change, and you don't, I don't see that. Like if Ozai changed, then somehow it would probably caught up, catch Azula off guard. Where Azula's like, well, why are we changing? Because we're done wrong all these years, honey. Blah blah blah. And then maybe that way, but Ozai is not gonna do it, and she just she looks up at her father. And that's yeah, the only way that. I can see that arc happening, which I don't think it will. It feels like it's like on some Shang Chi shit. Where Ozai like risks his life and like sacrifices his life to save Zuko. I feel like that's really the only way that they're gonna complete that arc and one redeem Ozai and two redeem him in in Zuko's eyes. But I really don't see that happening because he's a piece of shit. But yeah, I've been wrong true. before. So other than that, great episode. Can't wait to see what happens in the next episode. This almost it's almost felt like a filler at the beginning. Like oh, this is like a vacation episode, just focusing on you know maybe Zuko more in the game, building the or or build the Coochie King squad, Ozai's angels. I'll give him the Ozai's Angels. We'll we'll Angels we'll disrespectful. Yeah, we'll give him Ozai's Angels this episode. When they're disrespectful, it's automatically Coochie Gang. Yeah, they pissed me off. It's Coochie Gang all the way. But other than that, and then once we got, you know, Third Eye Blind in there, and then that shit just went off the rails. Like, holy shit, this is one of my favorite episodes. Final thoughts, Glacier? Yeah, final thoughts. I mean, love the episode. Um, it's kind of conflicting that I'm rooting that Zuko doesn't like I said. I don't want Zuko, I don't want that message. I didn't want that message to get to Zuko because at the same time, I'm basically cheering for Third Eye Blind, which was hired by Zuko. And Third Eye Blind's not trying to capture Avatar, he's trying to end the Avatar. Yeah. So, conflict of interest there. I love how the show makes you teeter totter with your emotions and through the characters. Can't wait for the next one, Dragon Certified. Yeah, I man, they kind of pretty much put that front and center when Zuko was pretty much like, I don't know the difference between right and wrong anymore. Now he's even understanding there's such a gray area with, yep. with everything that's going on. So, amazing storytelling. I can't say enough about the show, Dragon Certified fucking hit it. There you have it guys, another one in the books. The real question is, what you guys think in there in Drag School Land? Honestly, any Easter eggs, anything that you know we missed out on, favorite aspects of this episode? And honestly, if someone gave you a free all expenses paid trip to Ember Island, would you go? And don't do it because you love me, just speak for your own. And would you go? Speak if for yourself. And would you go if you knew the grandmas were there? I already know the answer to that, and if you would go, shame on you. <laughs> Leave a comment down below, like, subscribe, and join the Dragon Squad. Check out other videos in the link descriptions down below. And thanks so much for checking us out. Until next time, we'll see you next time.